Hello everyone, we're back, class number 20. Today, we're gonna talk about the leg locks attacks, all right? But before we start the class, remember, we need to warm up. First drill, burpees. We did 30 seconds last class, 45 seconds of burpees, no stop. Jump. All right, and then you go 45 seconds, 30 seconds break, round number two, round number three, and then you move to the second drill, sit-ups. Lean your back. Okay, remember, work as part on partners, and you go. Wow, you can push hard if you want. Don't let it, yeah, don't let it tamp the floor. All right, 45 seconds of sit-ups, 30 seconds break, round number two, round number three. Third and final round, regular push-ups. 45 seconds, okay, keep your body straight, flex your arms. Good job. 45 seconds in that, round number two and three, and do the plus. All three exercise, 45 seconds each, 30 seconds break, second round and third round. All right, class today is about leg locks. Switch positions. I want you to remember that leg locks are depending, when you have your gi on, and depending on the level and belt color and age, you're not allowed to do some of the moves that I'm gonna to demonstrate today. You have to talk to your professor and so he can give you knowledge and you have to read the rules of the tournament. I'm talking about IBJJF, okay? So 13 and under, 14 and under cannot do leg locks whatsoever. Uh, and some of the moves that we're gonna do are not legal even for brown and black belts. Let's start with the easiest one, straight foot lock, straight angle lock, straight leg lock. One leg, I like to look, oh, that's the old school, okay? I hook one here, and this one, I step right on the hip bone. My toes are facing the outside. Remember, you cannot cross. If I cross this leg over here, I am disqualified, fight's over, they win. He, she went, okay? Look, one, two, straight ankle. I hold it, thumbs up. I pull out 10 fingers. I can put it 10 fingers. I can put a grip, grip like this. See, and then I squeeze my knees. Look, one, two, I squeeze. I turn outside and I lay back, look. Oh, that's it. Straight foot lock, very simple. Variation, when you do that, Sometimes they are able to move and escape. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put a figure of four. Cuatro. The inside leg steps outside, and then I lock. Now, look, I close, and I have the figure of four, and I lay back, and I finish. Remember, once and again, when you do the fourth, I see a lot of people getting disqualified in tournaments because they do the fourth backwards. They bring the outside inside and they lock the fourth. You're disqualified. If I'm here, the inside steps outside and then I lock the fourth. So this is secure. Now I can wrap the foot, thumbs up, and then I finish. Okay? So two variations for the same technique, straight ankle lock foot lock, leg lock. Let's move to a, uh, to another technique attacking the foot that is illegal when you have your gi. We're, we're talking about the heel hook. Heel hooks are not for gi. Nobody, white to black, cannot do heel hooks. If you are in a no gi competition outside IBJJF, and if you're fighting expert division, they allow you to do the heel hooks, which means brown and black. All right, let's go again here. So you already have the foot, okay? What are you gonna do this way, or if you have your figure four, you, you are in a straight position. I want you to shift your hips inside, look. So now you see the foot here, see? So the toes are trapped under my armpit. See, and then you look, you're twisting. See, look, I'm instead wrap here, I go here. 
And then when I twist this way, I rip everything, ligaments from the ankle all the way to the knee. That's why it's illegal. So once again, if you have a foot lock, figure four, shift your hips outside, or sometimes they give to you. When you're right here, they try to escape this way. Look, they're turning to you, look. And then, look, you lay back and twist. Fight's over. If you have your gi on, don't do heel hooks. You're gonna be disqualified, all right? I'm gonna move to another technique, the toe hold position. Back in the days in Brazil, we call Americana on foot. Also, the toe hold are for brown belts and black belts only with the gi. IBJJF, no gi and gi. You can do the toe hold if you are a brown belt or a black belt. If you want a different tournament and you want to apply the, 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 the toe hold or the heel hook, you can if you're fighting without the gi, no gi, but you need to be a fighting expert, right? Again, I had my leg lock. It's not working, he's not tapping. I try to go for the heel, heel hook. They refuse to tap, something to lose. And then what I'm gonna do, my hips are the secret is on the hips, because this is for the straight ankle. This is for the heel hook. Now I shift even more. Look, you have to have the pinky. Cup, cup, and then I twist, look. And then as you can see, I'm gonna rip and break everything. Sometimes, once it again, they, you hear and they turn to escape. Look, you just push, move your hips. You can apply the figure four here, look. And you twist and you finish. They will tap. There's no, come belt, there's no color belt for the foot attacks. Everybody taps if you apply uh, with techniques and type. The last technique is the knee bar. The knee bar can start from many different techniques. Also, knee bars are for brown and black only. Purple belts and under cannot do knee bars or you will be disqualified. If you are in a no-gi tournament outside IBJJF, if you're doing expert, you can apply knee bars, okay? Let's go. So, right here, many different ways to do knee bars. Showing just an easy way, basic one. I have my foot attacks one, I move my hips two, three, and now they start turning, for example, look, I cross here, cup, just like an arm bar, but my hips are right on the kneecap, and then look, I stretch, stretch, stretch like I'm doing an arm bar. I can move on top, look, so there's many ways, look, toe hoes here too. So there's many ways to do knee bar. I'm trying here, I'm trying to pass the guard. Look at that. Look, I'm pretending that I'm, look, I'm not. Knee bar, knee bar, okay? I hope you like it. We did all foot attacks today, class number 20. Straight ankle lock, heel hooks toe holes and e-bars. Just pay attention to the rules of the, the tournament before you start working those attacks. And if you were juveniles and kids, no leg locks, all right? Thank you parents, thank you students. We will be back soon. Today was class number 20. See you soon at the gym, thank you. Peace.